Hello everyone, my name is Natalie and welcome back to my astrology channel. I'm going to be talking about Mercury now. So Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo and Mercury is the planet of communications and information. It's like the messenger of astrology, the messenger planet. Interesting thing about Mercury is that it can never be more than 30 degrees from your sun sign. And I'll explain what degrees are later. But basically, it means that it can't be more than one sign away from your sun sign. So it can only be the sign before your sun sign, the sign that you are, or the sign after. So if you're a Virgo, your Mercury can only be in Leo, Virgo, or Libra. If you're in Aries, your Mercury can only be in Pisces, Aries, or Taurus. It's the same for every Mercury. So this actually makes it really common for your Mercury and your Sun to probably be close together. And that's something that you can look at. You can look at how close together your Sun and your Mercury are. If they're conjunct, the way you think and act is just there. What you think is probably going to be out of your mouth before you can even finish the thought. <laughs> Mercury is fast and quick, and it's the planet that uh, is least in retrograde, but when it is in retrograde, it basically just means that the planet is turning backwards or something in the sky but basically for you and your chart it means that the energy is turned inward so it's like gonna slow down communication gonna slow down thinking we're not gonna be able to see that far in front of us it's gonna delay traveling and information being passed it can slow down technology and just crazy stuff <laughs> but um so that's what mercury retrograde is because I feel like people get confused when they hear that. <laughs> and it can actually happen several times during the year, so you can look at those transits <laughs> if you're curious. Um, but yeah, Mercury rules uh, Gemini and Virgo. Gemini is the air sign ruled by Mercury, so it's like the quick communication, the first sign of communication, the first air sign. So it's when we learn to communicate, that's what Gemini is. That's why they just talk and talk and talk and talk. And Mercury rules Virgo too, which Virgo is the more analytical, slow, earth processing kind of thinking because it's an earth sign. And it's more focused on the details rather than just randomness like Gemini. Aspects to Mercury. So you can look at planets that aspect your Mercury. Um, where it falls into your chart, say Mercury is conjunct your Venus or something. Everything you say is just gonna sound so charming and beautiful and gonna flow. <laughs> I don't know, but it could be square Jupiter or something, so maybe it might not seem like you're that good at speaking or you might have a harder time actually making sense with what you say even though it's gonna seem like it's nice might be actually a little bit harder to make it sound nice. <laughs> and also the house that Mercury falls into, that's where you're gonna focus a lot of your thinking, a lot of your mental energy. The area of your life that your mind is probably gonna always be thinking about, that's probably where your mind will never stop running. Because Mercury is the planet that never sleeps. I mean, none of the planets do, and our minds never really sleep, but that's what Mercury is. It's like our mind, our intellect. <laughs> Mercury is really interesting, too, because when you first meet someone, what you are going to see is probably their ascendant mixed with, like, their sun. You're probably not going to really see much of their moon. Um, but I also think that Mercury is in there because it is how we communicate, like, on a day-to-day -day basis and how we just speak our mind so i feel like mercury is one that you can see especially if it's close to the ascendant in the first house um i don't know what i'm saying honestly mercury is cool though and that's mercury and astrology thanks for watching bye